Hello everyone, welcome back to Dubraska Yoga. My name is Dubraska, and I'm so happy you're back today for our restorative practice. We're gonna be using a wall, a mat, two blankets, two blocks, and a pillow. All right, go ahead and gather all your stuff, and I'll see you back soon. Welcome back. Rest your buttocks against the wall and walk your feet 12 to 16 inches forward. Separate your feet approximately 14 to 16 inches. Take an inhale in place. Exhale. Allow your body to bend forward, fold your elbows and let the weight of the arms and torso gently pull you down. Allow your head to hang. Keep your legs straight if possible and your quadriceps, allowing the knee joints to be stable. Relax or release the hamstrings to protect your low back. Connect to your breath. Feel your hamstrings opening, stretching as you release into the wall. Relax your abdomen as you breathe normally. Let your head hang between your folded arms. Perhaps gently move your head side to side a few times as if you were gesturing no, just to help relax your neck, relax your shoulders. Just noticing if you're carrying tension in that area of your body. Allow gravity to do the job as you allow your spine to lengthen as all tensions in your back drain away. Release your hands down. Soften your knees. Hands to your waist. Engage your core. Exhale. Allow your body to come up. Release your arms down by your side. Lean against the wall for several breaths and notice the quieting effect of the pose has had on your mind. When you feel ready, you're welcome to open your eyes, press yourself away from the wall, and find your way to your mat. We'll be using our props. If you have a bolster, you can bring the bolster forward. If not, let's build it together. Place your blocks in a vertical position, one against it, the other. And place your pillow right on top. One of the blankets is going to be rolled. And it's going to be placed at the back of your mat to support the top of your ankles. You're going to fold the other blanket and place it in front of that bolster you created that is going to support your forehead. Then allow your whole body to rest on the bolster you created and make any necessary adjustments that you need to, perhaps Refolding that blanket that is going to support your forehead, just allowing your body to move forward and back until you find that sweet spot where you're fully supported by your pillows, the blanket under your forehead. Then allow the arms to come into cactus, bending the elbows, placing the hands and forearms down onto the mat. Taking a deep breath in. Exhale, allow your body to relax. The use of the bolster in this prone position ensures soft, deep breathing. In addition to the improved breathing, the bolster also helps to open the heart with the chest 
being broad, broad and active. It also helps release any kind of tensions and stiffness in your upper back. Deepen your breath and with every exhalation, allow your body to become even heavier. Allow gravity to do the job. Surrendering in this pose. Begin to deepen your breath. Gradually, bring your hands under the shoulders. Engage your core, and with an exhalation, press yourself up to your hands and knees, sitting back towards your heels as you allow the knees to be on both sides of the bolster, taking a moment there to reconnect with your breath, finding center. Now go ahead and bring that blanket that was supporting your forehead and open it, place it on top of the bolster that is going to become your pillow. And the folded blanket that was under your feet can be placed on top of your calves to support the space in between your knees as you sit back. And exhale, allow your body to come forward to your child's pose. Placing any of your ears on the blanket. Reconnecting to your breath. Allow your body to rest on the bolster. Relax the space between your shoulder blades. Use each exhalation as a reminder to release your body into the bolster. Let yourself feel longer and longer over the bolster. As you feel your spine opening, elongating. And allow yourself to breathe quietly. Deepen your breath. In your forehead to the blanket, hands under shoulders. Inhale, press yourself up. Exhale, lower and place the opposite ear on the blanket. Walk your forearms forward, allow your arms to relax. Take several slow breaths. And as you do, let your shoulders move away from the ears. Let your belly relax and feel supported. If you have menstrual cramps, the counter pressure of the bolster on the belly may feel especially good for you. Now begin to deepen your breath. Bring your hands under the shoulders, head and neck to neutral position. And with an exhalation, press yourself up to your knees. Take a moment there to return back to your breath. 
Open your eyes as we transition to our final pose, Shavasana. Placing a blanket in the back of your mat to support your head. You can keep the whole prop that you created with your blocks and pillows. And now place it under your knees or thighs. If you have a bolster, you can do the same. And allow yourself to lay down with control, making adjustments if you need to. Allow the other blanket to cover your body if you wish. Take an inhale through your nose. Exhale, side it out. Allow your muscles to lengthen, to grow heavy. Allow your breath to be soft. Just allow yourself to rest here in stillness and silence and just be. Just be. Begin to deepen your breath. Slowly begin to bring movement back to your body, wiggling the fingers, the toes, circling your ankles, your wrist, extending the arms above your head on the floor behind you and your legs in the opposite direction. When you feel ready, you may release your arms down, soles of the feet on the bolster, rocking your knees side to side. And when you feel complete, turn your body to your side into a fetal position. Take a moment there to notice your breath, your mind, your physical body. Now use the top arm to press yourself up to a comfortable seated position. Inhale, bring your arms above your head. Exhale, release your hands to your heart center. Bowing your forehead to your fingers in gratitude to your practice. And I thank you for allowing me to guide you today. Namaste.